everyone, Mango Seven Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another middle of the night episode of Epic Seven, and this is a uh, kind of funny, kind of not funny, kind of um, cool that they're setting a precedent. But uh, basically, after months of uh, people spamming "You're Done, Son," or maybe like a month of people spamming this on their forums, they finally hit back. So. Uh, just to keep people up to date that haven't really been browsing places or know this was going on, there was a bug with the Hoochie Shop, which is the biggest scam shop in the game. Actually, if there's one thing that, like, angers me about this game, it's Hoochie Shop. I just hate him so much, and I hate that his deals are just scams. But anyway, they had it so you could buy things multiple times. And it was obvious it was a bug. You weren't supposed to buy it multiple times. So... They answered by uh, banning and restricting notice to a bunch of people for bug abuse. This is the first time they've done something like this. There has been things that people, including myself, have kind of taken advantage of in the past, like uh, buying the PvP gear early. So um, I I'm really glad they've done something about this because it will kind of make people not want to do things like this in the future. Uh, you were able to buy a bunch of mystic medals if you wanted, a bunch of basically a ton of other things, and they uh, decided to get rid of some people for it. So this is their official announcement. Uh, Ban players notice. This is GM Dominial. We would first like to apologize, blah, 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 blah. Following are the list of players. They even name and shame them. Like, they super... If the first comment of this isn't you're done, son, so help me. I'm going to be mad. Um, so they made made a distinction here that it wasn't just anybody who bought multiple things it was people who were obviously fully aware that there was an error in the system um and they were abusing it so and then they linked uh the policy and such so details of the bands 264 seven day bands uh, i'm guessing these are people who bought things maybe like 20 30 times it's just my guesstimate i've heard a lot of people saying they they bought things 10 times no problem whatsoever um, 30 day bans, I'm guessing these are people who went kind of ham, you know, they went just a little too far. Those 36 people were like, you know, I'm going to take advantage of this. And then there's the permanent, seven people got permanently banned for this. And those are the people that just went bonkers. So kind of curious to see. Uh, and then also name and shamed people. They they literally gave us a spreadsheet. I haven't looked at it yet. We're going to check it out in a second. Of all the accounts that got banned. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. So please be advised that this, that this removal currency is bought in excess of the given limit will be applied to cases not listed. So the people who didn't get banned do get the currency removed. Uh, furthermore, currencies bought by exploiting this bug will be removed. Negative numbers, if applicable. We will give further information to our heirs via an additional notice. In order to provide a fair gaming environment to all of our heirs, we will take strong measures against players who exploit and abuse heirs via consistent monitoring. I really like this, and I, I hope they enforce things like this in the future. I really hope they enforce things like Macquarie, and I know there's a lot of that going on. I, I think it's going to get worse with the autoplay coming. Um, so I hope they crack down on that as well. And let's look at the banned players. So they separated it out by servers. We have KR, Global, Asia, and Europe. So there are two permanent, two permanent, nice, nice words, Mango, two permanent bans on uh, KR. Um, Three 30-day bans and quite a few seven-day bans. On Asia, there is only a single permanent ban. On Europe, there is a single permanent ban as well. And on Global, there are three permanent bans. And I was really hoping I would recognize some names. You know, I see somebody in there I was familiar with, uh, but I only see actually there's a lot of non-English names on here. I was expecting to see a bunch of English names, so. These are the people that were removed. Uh, these are the permanent bans. So, uh, 50 to 2100 plus. What do those numbers mean? Is that saying, like, how many times they abused it? I don't think so. Because these people abused it 21 to 50 times, and these people did 20 to 49. I don't get that number. Maybe you folks can tell me, but either way... These are all the names here um, of all the people that were removed. It also uh, kind of got rid of a couple of the names here. If you're on here, let me know because I'm really, really interested to talk to you and 
I would love to hear how many you bought to kind of get onto this list, you know? Like, good, good guy. Good guy Rick got uh, on this list as well. So yeah, uh, those are the people on here. Let this just be... I, I, I don't want to say a lesson, but information for people to not do stuff like this. Like, I've been, I've been around for online games for long enough to know there are certain things you can do and maybe should do in terms of stuff like this and there are certain things you shouldn't one of them is if something is repeatable x amount of times that's something you should not ever really take advantage of if it's not intentional because that's something they will track another example is if something is unlocked once or something like that uh that's usually something i do do just because they can't place intent I'm not trying to get you guys to jump around hoops and get around rules and cheat and stuff like that. But there's so many things like the PvP options, for example, those being sold early, where um, it is not possible to kind of discern who did it intentionally and who did it unintentionally. And anybody who would log in there and saw those for sale would obviously just buy them right away. Um, so... That's one of those things where that situation they can't enforce, but this one they can because it's obvious which ones are kind of, you know, doing things they shouldn't do. So yeah, uh, that's going to be it for now. I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. Um, I <laughs> avoid Hoochie at all costs. Honestly, I hate his shop. He makes me angry. I don't even buy the good deals from him because he honestly just pisses me off. <laughs> so I leave Hoochie alone and let him do his thing. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. And again, if you are one of those people that were banned, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear how many things you bought, what your uh, ban length was, and um, all sorts of other things. So have a great day. Bye, everybody.